Hey, what's up, guys? Let's make a, uh, I guess, techno beat uh, on machine. And uh, to, to generally show you how I would go about this, uh, and it's not exactly rocket science, but it's still quite fun. So, um, little problem, you can't see what's going on on here on my two displays, but you can see it in this, uh, I guess, gray part. So you can keep up and uh, you know the the navigation is very straightforward, which is the arrows and the knobs, so it's pretty easy. Uh, so let's start off with uh, I guess I have two kits loaded in, and the, both uh, the artist kits that come with it, uh, and I just want to pick up a kick drum, and there you have it. So I'll select the kick drum, select here, so then I'll go step, step and control at the top here, and then. Uh, Press play, and then there you have kick drum. Very easy. Right, very heavy. Uh, it's pretty cool, I guess. So, uh, with that being said, let's uh, find another sound. I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna click play and then record. No, it's completely off because my timing sucks. White boy timing. Um, so what I'm going to do is just press shift and it says uh, quantize right here and then bam. Let's give it a listen now. Right, so we have that. So what I want to do now is I want to swing that particular, well I just want to give the track some swing. So I select swing. And you'll see it at the top right, right up here. Whew. Swing at 6%. I'll go, I guess, 25. I'll play it. Gives it a bit of randomness. Very cool. All right, so now I'm going to go to my next one. And uh, there's a particular. There. Wait. Yeah. That one. Yep. Yeah, it was that. Okay, so I'm going to uh, have this on the offbeat. This is the offbeat area. So I'm going to solo that. So that sound is now soloed by clicking solo or holding solo and then pressing on a pad. Fairly straightforward. Uh, I am into, if you look up here, I'm going into the frequency shifter. This comes with it. I'm going to turn it down. So now it's completely off. So now let's go the sampler we want the tune and that's all navigating you don't even need to look up so it's a uh, it's a whole octave down so what I'll do now is I will go to my filter turn to low pass and I'm just gonna add a filter to it just for that one sound I'm going to unsolo. Uh, I don't like that kick. I'm going to go to my other ki kit. Add that in. Very straightforward. It's and it's a matter of you know switching between built-in step sequencer to get you know, quicker workflow. Experimenting with different sounds. Let's see what else we got here. Cool. We'll add this clap in. Fairly simple. There. Right. And uh, 
yeah, that's basically how you would go about it. Uh, and you have it all here, and then you can save these out separately, and then uh, plot them into your DAW, and uh, you're good to go. Let's give this one a try then. So let's uh, record. So we'll do that, and then we'll click restart. Another trick you can do, you can actually hold the note, select volume, and then bring the volume down to that particular sample. And yeah, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, have a good one.